Okay, I'm going to talk about how to renew a subscription to a library or to buy additional subscriptions. So if you go ahead and log into your member dashboard and go to member.elearningbrothers.com, now if you go to subscriptions, you can see all the subscriptions that you currently have. Uh, some of these might be expired and some might be current. So if you want to renew one of these or add a new subscription, basically you just go out to our website and buy a new subscription to whatever you want to. So you could come right here to subscriptions, you could click on the pricing page or just log into your member dashboard and then navigate to elearningbrothers.com. I'm going to click the pricing page. Then you could simply come down here and then choose whatever package you wanted. Or let's say you wanted to browse around a little bit. Let's go ahead and go here. Let's go to the template library. So you could come down here and say, okay, yep, that's the one I want. You say, I want the developer package or the master package. Now, when you click the sign up now button, basically, since you're already logged into your member dashboard, it skipped the whole login part. So you're automatically into the shopping cart. It already knows who you are. And when you make this purchase, it'll add it to your existing account. So now you're in your cart. You can see, you know, the package that you chose. If you wanted to, you could add something on there. When you're ready to move forward, you can choose the number of users you want right here. So let's say it's two users. You can proceed to checkout, and then you could go ahead and, uh, and put in your card information. Now, if you had a card already stored with us, you would see that information here as well, and you could use that card. So when you advance and you end up paying for that, then when you go back to your member dashboard, you would actually see that new subscription under your subscription area, and then you could come into manage users, click on your different users here, and then you could go through and assign them to different seats. All right, that's it.